Hello and welcome to another video of the course. In this video, we are going to calculate the winding factor. As you know, the winding factor is defined as the maximum flux linkage, maximum phase flux linkage divided by this product number of effective turns per each phase times pole flux actually this product is maximum theoretical phase flux linkage right when the winding factor is equal one anyway so let's calculate winding factor and update its value in our excel file actually at the start of design we assumed a number here now using back mf simulation from here we calculate winding factor and then we should update the winding factor our initial assumption and repeat the process again and again to match these numbers calculated values with initial values so i'm going to use this equation so i need to calculate lambda max for calculation of the lambda max first we need to calculate flux linkage of phase a flux linkage of phase b and flux linkage of phase C. So from here, back EMF results, I am going to define three output variables, for example, flux linkage of phase A according to connections. I am going to calculate the flux linkage of phase A. As you know, the number of parallel paths is equal to one. So I use this equation for calculation of the flux linkage. From winding flux linkage of coil one, insert into expression. 1 minus 2 minus 15. So I copy this. Minus flux linkage of coil 2. Minus flux linkage of coil 15. Plus 3 plus 14. Plus 3 plus 14. Add. Now, what is the flux linkage of phase B is equal. Let me use the same equation here. Flux linkage of phase B, coil 6, coil 6, minus 7, minus 5, minus 7, minus 5. 8 and 4, 8 and 4, add. Let me check. 6 minus 7 minus 5, 8 and 4. Finally, for the phase C, we have 11 minus 12, 11 minus 12, Minus 10, 13, and 9. 9. Add. Done. So I'm going to report a rectangular flood from output variables. I select flux linkage of phase A, phase B, and phase C. New report. 
you can see the flux linkage curves right so what is this value is maximum flux linkage calculated by FEA so here trace characteristic recent maximum the maximum phase flux linkage is 0.2412 so I write here the maximum phase flux linkage is 0.2412 remember that only we can edit the value of cells with green background so this is the maximum phase flux linkage calculated by FEA okay so what is the number of effective turns per each phase is equal this number 760 right and what is the value of VP whole flux whole flux is calculated by this equation magnetic loading times pi dl divided by number of magnets we know the value of d we know the value of l and we calculated the value of magnetic loading using the finite element method so we can calculate pole flux what is the value of b average we calculated it here in the magnetic loading simulation I need to rerun it because I updated some variables in this file so when we know the value of B average we can implement this equation to calculate the whole flux so the simulation is running as you can see here the value of magnetic loading is 0.7911 I wrote it here so I implemented this equation in this cell to calculate the pole flux and as you know the maximum theoretical phase flux linkage is pole flux times this number number of effective turns per each phase and finally the winding factor is equal maximum phase flux linkage calculated by FEA divided by maximum theoretical phase flux linkage as you can see here the value of winding factor is 0.827 right so when we calculate this number we should update its value at the beginning of the design right but uh, here because I considered the right number at the start of design I don't need to update it again right because I did this design before remember our electromagnetic design procedure we assume an initial number for winding factor we do design we do finite element calculations we calculate winding factor then we update it again right so as you know the winding factor is a function of number of stator slots and number of magnets so one iteration is enough to update the value of winding factor okay i think it's enough for this video you can repeat the same procedure to calculate the winding factor and let me know if you have any questions below this 
video. Thanks for watching.